The uh, next step is to join the corner post, inner vertical and upper and lower rails. Um, this is a very interesting uh, joint arrangement because it's another first for Dalmax, as far as I know anyway. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to join three work pieces using one row of dowels. To explain that, of, uh, this is a substitute for the, for the inner vertical and what I've done here is use Dalmax to drill completely through. It's very, very accurate and uh, so that uh, this is glued to the inner vertical and then installed like so and the lower rail is, is attached. So that's the arrangement, very, very strong arrangement. Be nothing could compare to that that I know of. Now, first of all, we'll do the the referencing. Now, on the top here, these are all reference faces one, two, three. So we three check marks, three check marks on the top edges. Um, our ends and edge here, three check marks. Now we do an X here, an X there, an X here, and an X there. And doing this, you won't have any problems. Now, the other thing, we're going to have a, a centre joint here, which will not not come through. Um, there'll be two dowels here just to keep the, the, the inner vertical in position. Now, remember that these... The rails that I've done are all identical in length. So for that reason only, we can now reference from the bottom up. Normally we'd have to reference from here, down to the centre, down to the bottom. But what we're going to do here is we're going to reference from the top to the intermediate rail, or intermediate uh, bore, and then from the bottom up. Because as I say, they're all identical lengths. So, so, so we have a check mark here, there, there, all these reference faces and these reference edges and ends here, here and here. Now, as I've explained before, the, the spacers used with Delmax are for two reasons. The first reason is to offset and the second reason is if you want to centre on any particular size of wood. Now, for the for main corner post, what I want to do is have a, a quarter inch offset. So, what I do there is I use two eighth of an inch spacers to make up the quarter inch and that will give me an offset up there. Um, now for the, for the rails and for this inner vertical we can use, uh, well let's go back to the original formula, this is seven eighths thick and we want to centre. So seven eighths you half that, you've got seven sixteenths. Take off three eighths, you're left with one sixteen. So to centre, we have to put a sixteenth spacer in between the reference bracket and the reference block. And once that's in, that will centre exactly on the seven eighths. Now, um, first of all, we'll uh, show the. This is the lower rail, which is which is two and an eighth, and the reason for the two and an eighth is that we can put three dowels along here. Now, you can see the check mark is here and there. So, this is the one with the seven eighths. Now, I'm using two uh, dowel mites for speed, but you can you just rearrange and change the spaces as needed. Now, this, this, the check marks are here, here, and here. So, in this case, we put this check mark to there, like that. We slide down mics up to here. You've seen all these before. Tighten your clamp screws and drill one, two and three. And uh, we do the same on the other side, the opposite end. And um, there we are. That way. Now the top rail is identical except uh, we're referencing from the top and there. So there's your two check marks. Your X is on here. So you, same procedure. Line up to here and drill one and two. And that's that one done. Now, for the corner post, 
what I've done here, we'll give the check mark to the, the towards the camera. Now this is the, the one with the, the quarter inch spacers to give us a, a quarter inch offset. So what we do here, we align, the check marks are here, here and there. So this check mark goes to that one there, which you probably can't see. Goes to that one there, you line it to the end, tighten your clamp screws and drill one and two. Now after that you slide it down and I've already set this. And I've used the second hole. You can use whichever hole you like, provided you do exactly the same on the other one. Now I slide this up, touch that, clamp it, and I want to get closer to the center, so we'll drill uh, four and five. Now, we could carry on down to do this one, but it's not necessary in this case, because, as I say, we're... we're um, it's identical lengths all around, so it's, it's going to be fine. So we, they're still on the same check mark in here, so we come up to here and drill and one, two, and three. Now next we got to tackle the inner vertical, and uh, we follow the same procedure. Now we need a backing block for this. Um, we're going to drill through. Now we follow the, follow the same procedure as we did before. There's your check mark and your check mark here, uh, and here's your X's on here. So we take the dial marks with the uh, 16 spacers, align it uh, check mark to check mark, bring it up to the end, the check mark, and we drill, tighten the clamp screws, drill one and two. Move it down, and remember what we did before, we're in the second bore, get it nice and level, slide this up, tighten your clamp screws, do one and two again, and uh, now as I said, what we could do is the same thing again here, but as I said, we're going to, uh, here's your check mark here, goes to there, here's your uh, X's for the drilling surface, so this goes on here like that. Line it up to the end, get as accurate as you can. That's good. As I say, I usually use a small washer for that, but that's okay. Now, we're going to drill right through, so we need this backing block to prevent the tear out. have been installed. Uh, three here, two in the centre and two at the top. Uh, you'll notice that the uh, dowels in the centre are not drilled through obviously because that would show in the final assembly. Um, now uh, you'll also notice that uh, I've referred to it before that it's you should never ever dry fit something with more than two dowels installed because Believe me, you'll have difficulty getting it apart again. So for that reason, I'm going to remove the center dowel on the lower section and reinstall it when I'm ready to assemble. Okay, now you'll go back to original check marks. Make sure we're installing this in the proper manner. And uh, see, this is very snug. So you can imagine if I had three dowels on here. In the bottom section, it would be quite tricky to remove once I've tested it. 
There we go. There we go. There's one really strong 